Today my video is going to be about unveiling or unboxing two products. Both of them I'm very excited about because I've needed both. Welcome to K&D's Homestead. I'm Donna. The first product that I want to show is something I have waited on for uh, probably close to a year or at least six or eight months. Well, I haven't waited on it, but it took me time to decide did I want to get it or not. I stayed on the fence for a while. I decided to go ahead and get it. And this is going to help me with my home preserving. Hopefully, it's going to save me some time. I'm sure you've seen them on the internet and across YouTube. A lot of people have gotten them. It just took me a long time to decide was it going to be worth the investment, which it's not that expensive at all. Actually, I was pretty surprised to see what uh, the price was. Very, very reasonable. So this is the first item that I got. It is a steam canner. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting because when canning uh, jellies, jams, fruits, any acid food, the regular canner just takes so much water, a ton of water. And it always hurts my feelings to have to throw that water out. And this is going to be steam. And it's not going to take but just a few inches of water. And I can do my jellies and jams. It's for things that you could normally water bath can. Like uh, high acid foods. It is not for canning vegetables or low acid foods. So that is still a no-no. But the part that excites me is it's only going to take a few inches of water. And this is a dream come true. If it's going to take that small amount of water, then I won't have to throw out all that water. Now, my understanding is it still uses the same processing time that you would normally use in a water bath canner. But the biggest thing is that water savings, and it's going to be a steam canner, not a boiling water bath canner. So let me get it opened up, and I will see what has to be done. Let me see, who is this by? Uh, I knew the name. It's something, Kitchen Crop. Yep. This is by Kitchen Crop. They're on Amazon, which is where I bought mine. And I will be putting a Amazon affiliate link in my um, video descriptions. Kitchen Crop, C-R-O-P. It holds eight pints, I think I read, and seven quart size jars. This is the lid. So it has this um, gauge that goes on top of the lid. I guess I've got to put this together. But the gauge sits on top of the lid and it will tell when the water or the steam is ready for you to start timing your process. So that's going to sit on top there. This is a rack that will go in the bottom. I have had um, juice for a while now, different juices that I wanted to make more jelly, 
But I have held off just putting it off because I just did not want to waste that water. And if you don't put anything in your water, then I suppose you could use it to water your plants or a lot of things. But I usually do put vinegar in the water to try to keep the jars from getting that um, white stuff on the outsides of the jars. And once I have had vinegar in it, I did not want to use it on my plants. So this is a jar rack, but you can see the difference. See how thin and shallow this is? That's all your, I don't know how much I'm gonna put, uh, how much water is gonna go in it. I've got to read the book. But the water goes in here rather than this much water in that big giant boiling water bath canner. I don't know what this is, it was with that. So you put your jars in there and the cover goes over the top and it steam cans. I've got a lot of jellies that I want to make. I gotta see what this little part is and I don't want to lose it. But that's a pretty simple setup. And I'm super excited about getting it. So if the processing time calls for 10 minutes for the normal water bath canning, then you would still use 10 minutes in this. And if it calls for 20 minutes, it's the same based on your altitude. It's going to be the same. But I think it will take a lot less time to bring this uh, steamer up to temperature versus waiting on that big giant pot of water to boil. My cats have found the boxes they came in. So that's going to save time waiting on that water to come up to temperature versus waiting on the steam from this small amount of water to come up to temperature. And I do believe that I'm going to be able to process the uh, jellies and jams, etc., a lot faster. And I'm really excited to try this. I have seen a lot of videos where other people have bought these and they've used them and loved them. And my understanding is these have been approved for use by the USDA and it's not some fad. It's a real item that is acceptable by the pros who do all of the uh, testing. Let me see what's in here. I also wanted to mention real quick, there's some nice rubber grips on this pot. I don't have my glasses with me. So the instructions are in the book. How to put it together, this thing on top. That's going to be nice to have this, um, I'm not sure if it's considered a temperature gauge, but this gauge that will let me know when the water is ready to start timing. And then I don't have to do any guesswork. It looks really simple. There's a few recipes in the booklet, some strawberry jam, grape jam, grape jelly, apple or grape juice. Of course, I've got a big book that has all the recipes that I need. Anyways, I wanted to show everybody this. And if you have been considering yourself, like I did, whether or not to get one and you're interested, I will put a link in the bottom of the video. Now, I have watched, I don't know how many videos, um, probably close to a year's worth of videos. Every video I could find, I've watched on uh, people having this. So, 
I feel confident enough to believe that I'm going to really enjoy it because, I mean, what's there not to like about it? It's going to save water and save time. Even though the processing time is going to be the same, it's going to take a lot less time to reach that temperature to be able to start the processing. And for somebody who makes a lot of jellies, jams, and stuff like that, I could see this being a real um, time saver, but I'm in love with the reviews because it's real people, people I follow on YouTube and people I trust who have used it. And the fact that it is approved by the FDA for use in canning high acid foods, I'm just a believer in this, even though I have not used it yet. So that's the first product. The next product I want to show, I got this for myself. It's called a trigger point massager. It's just a manual bar. Lucy, please don't hit my camera. It's a manual bar to use for massaging achy places. Now, the reason I got this, I've been going to physical therapy because I did something to my back and I've been going to physical therapy for a couple of months now on that. And I also have a torn rotator cuff on this side. I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm not going to have it surgically repaired because I tore it on this side years ago and I did have surgery and it was absolutely horrible. As a result of what they did in the surgery, plus the fact that this one is messed up, I get a lot of um, knots under my shoulder blade in the back. And when those things knot up, oh my gosh. I can't hardly move. And if it happens to me out in public, I mean, and it has, I've been in Walmart, I've been in Lowe's, you know, stores trying to shop. And all of a sudden, one of those muscles will tighten up and become a knot under my shoulder blade. I can't move. I can't walk. I, can't, I mean, I'm just stuck wherever it happens. And I have actually had to find a sharp corner and, you know, do this number to try to work it out like a, a post in the store and i'm standing there like that just trying my best to work it out if somebody is with me they have to stand there and beat on the back of my shoulder blade until that knot releases well in physical therapy they showed me this bar um it's called a trigger point massager and with this bar, if it, oh, first of all, any knots or sore aches and pains, muscles, um, this really helps a lot. I used it in physical therapy because I was telling them, although I'm going for my back, I was telling them how my shoulder does knots up, and they showed me this bar and showed me how to use it. Now, this is for the whole body. There's a place you can... You can step on the, the knobs, these points, I guess is what it's called. You can work on your feet. You can work on your calves, your butt cheeks. You can work on your back or your neck, but it's a manual and you just put it back there onto the sore spot that you're trying to work out and just kind of give a gentle tug. I know you can't see, I'll turn around in just a minute. But with this knob right here, I can actually reach under my shoulder blade in the back and pull. And when I pull, it's a gentle pull, it pulls on that knot. And it feels so, you know that saying, it hurts so good? That's what it is. It hurts so good because that is right there is a, a point and it's just a gentle pull. I'm not having to pull hard. 
But man, does that feel good. And I can feel it releasing that knot after a few minutes. I use this in physical therapy. They just let me use it a couple of times and it felt so good. Right there, right there is a bad spot on my shoulder blade. You can use it at different points on your neck. I mean, the book is full of so many positions, but I can, I can reach around and grab the other side and pull on it. You can use it up and down the spine of your back. This is a smaller circle. This is a larger circle. You can use it at the top, which right there, where I've got it now, is a really harsh place. My lower back hurts, and I can use this down on the lower back. You can use it anywhere on your body that you can get these points. Now, there's so many places on the body to use it. I'm going to tell you, this works better than any back massager that I have, electric back massager. And it works fast. There's all kinds of places to use it. I bought it because I loved using it in physical therapy. And then there's a place in the back of the book that shows all of the pressure points or trigger points as they're called. Well, the reason I'm un, uh, or showing y'all this is because while this little gadget is not really a homesteading, gardening, uh, cooking, canning object. It is helpful because, in my case, and many of you watching may feel the same way, gardening in general, whether you have a small garden, big garden, container gardenings, when you work your garden, however the size is, over time, you end up straining and stressing your back, your muscles, your legs, your feet, everything, everything. Because especially like right now, it's gardening season and it is time to go, 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 go. I myself um, work from the time that I can get out in the mornings until I have to drag myself in in the evenings and I'm not even like ready to call it a day, but I have to call it a day because I've worked so much. My back hurts, my feet hurts, everything hurts. And that's why I'm showing this because even people who homestead and garden, whether you um, are dealing with animals or not, or just gardening, no matter what your lifestyle is, when you do something repetitive over and over and over, you're going to get those achy joints, muscles, and tendons, and all of that. This, I believe, is going to be a saving grace to me because I'm telling you, what I have done to my back, I don't know. Um, I know that they're telling me that... Um, I have two discs that are a problem, but I have been leaning over and gardening and bending and all of that for years and years and years, and I probably degraded everything along the way. But in order for me to continue and go out every day, I've got to do something that is going to help those achy places. Specifically with me, it's the lower back and right behind the shoulder blades. And when they let me use this in physical therapy, I was so happy at the way it felt. I felt like crying happy tears because if anybody has ever messed up their rotator cuff, it involves the muscles and tendons under the shoulder blade and you can't hardly massage that, but this little thing, the way that it's shaped, 
kind of gets under the shoulder blade. Now I have been to physical therapy because of my shoulder blades and they take their hands and they dig up under to release those knots. But this little thing is doing it for me. So I don't need anybody back there to do that. And I can tell, like I've got knots right now that I didn't even know was there. Now that I'm pressing on them, I can feel them. But as a general, you know, walking around during the day, I did not, they weren't bothering me. But I can feel those knots. But I can just sit and watch TV or when I come in in the evenings and work on those places on my body. And it is an essential tool because I feel like this is going to help me to feel better. And if I feel better, then I'm able to work more in the garden. And gardening is very hard work. Like I said, it does not matter what size garden you have. Uh, over time, you will do a number on your back or your muscles even your feet. Everything actually from the neck down, I have hurt one way or the other from the work that I do here on our property. So I wanted to share this because if anybody is having trouble with those achy muscles at the end of the day, this might be something of interest to you. It's very lightweight, it's very hard and durable but it's not it's not something like because it's hard it hurts it hurts so good is what it is i know that sounds funny but it makes a lot of sense to me um but anyways if anybody is interested i will also put this is very very inexpensive but it's worth it because if i can work on those aches and pains and that gets me going again. I'm all for it. So I wanted to share those two things. I don't, let me see who this is. Good point massager. I don't have my glasses on. Full body pain relief, 10 massage knobs. I'm actually not seeing a name brand, but I will put it in the affiliate links below my um, video for anybody who might be interested and need to try something. I know um, after a long day in the garden and working extremely hard, it sometimes makes the next day so painful for me that I just can't get out there and do anything. Wish I could see a name on it. I'll find a name. So anyways, that's the two things I wanted to share. I hope they were interest uh, of interest to you. And if you are interested, you need something like this, or you're interested in the um, steam canner, like I said, there'll be links below. It doesn't cost you anything to click on the links. It doesn't cost you anything if you bought the product. You don't have to buy from my links. I'm just gonna put them down there if you're interested. And we all have a lot of pressure points that could use some relief and it might even uh, take away a little bit of tightness or even pain. I can use this right here in my bad spots under my shoulder blades just while I'm sitting watching TV at night. And then the top of my shoulder blades right in here are places that really knot up on me. If I can get those knots freed up, I feel like I could do more work out in the yard. Right now, I have to do a little bit of work, stop, take a break, do a little bit of work, stop and take a break because it becomes so bad 
that I just can't stand being out there. And really, I'm not getting as much accomplished as I would like to because my back is hurting me so bad. So, anyways, I wanted to show this as well. It might be useful for anybody who's gardening and they come in and they find that their back aches, their you know, butt cheeks ache, the back of their legs, their feet, or whatever, the neck. This may be useful, may be helpful to you. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or hit the like button. And I want to thank you for watching the video. And I will see y'all on the next video very soon. Y'all take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.